Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Monday, the 16th of November 2015. I'm recording this uh, on the Sunday evening uh, because I was asked a specific question, which I will get into in just a moment, and that way I can just devote a bit more time to it. But let's start off with uh, what happened on Friday. The market uh, moved sharply lower here, and you can see we don't have any signals as the market crosses through the psychological line here at 14.45 and that's because the range of the bar exceeded the tough XP indicator settings of between 8 and 25 and that's the reason why this doesn't actually show on the chart. So one of the questions is can you extend the range? Absolutely you can. Of course this increases the number of points at risk but then you can uh, um, modify that of course by keeping the risk percentage uh, lower uh, and the same by changing the bet per point as well. But the main question is what can I do in a situation like this where we've got the market going short here and then being brought back and then moving back up 100 points and not being able to take advantage of it. Because as uh, the market uh, stopped out this trade we saw uh, we gone into the quiet period between 4.30 and 6.30 and also having that 100 point drop in the background, the market's found support, it's likely to go and retrace as continue lower. So what you can do is this, if you come over to the PTP indicators tab, if there's enough momentum in the market and certainly if it's not going down then it's likely to reverse and move higher. You can then click on the indicator settings and if you actually remove hide indicators outside of primary times and click apply you will then see the additional signals where the momentum was taking place I mean normally this doesn't happen and like I say the conditions are that you've had a losing trade just before we get into the quiet time or the quiet time takes you out and if the market's starting to show momentum in the opposite direction then you can take advantage of it as long as you the momentum continues through what would normally be the quieter time because what we get is the generally the move in the first hour the market goes quiet and stays quiet but if you uh, saw the video that I've actually recorded of this the market was extremely volatile at uh, this time as the market was coming back above here and then started to shoot towards the upside there and of course once it ran out of steam it started to drift all the way back to where it came from which again is not surprising at all. So then the market uh, moved lower. So what I'm going to do is just to put this back to how it is, uh, hide the indicator, and that puts it back to how it was without trading through what would be the quiet time there. And then we see the market dropping 38 points uh, uh, an hour before the close and uh, making up most of the uh, loss that was in this bar. But of course, uh, it leaves us uh, short slightly on the day. Sorry, it's an eight point loss, not 38 points, an eight point loss on the day as uh, the market got down to here and then again we're stuck in this situation of the market just uh, becoming sideways once more and finding support at this level and then it's getting on for being too late to actually trade uh, especially on a Friday evening as well which I've mentioned before the market tends not to move. This move after the market so uh, down to uh, the 17,200 level was after the market closed so the market found support at uh, the 17,250 and stayed there for the uh, duration of the latter part of the trading session there. So in the daily charts, the market was down all day. We've had two big days down now. The market heading back to 17,125. This is where we would expect the market to head next. And uh, news-wise, I'm going to have to use the Forex factory for this as it's a Sunday evening. We've got uh, tomorrow. Uh, Draghi speaking again. He's being wheeled out tomorrow at 10:15 uh, a.m. and then 1:30 Empire State Manufacturing. So. Again, no sort of major news to move the market. It picks up from Wednesday. We've got the FOMC minutes by Yellen. That will bring uh, certainly some excitement to the market. Let's have a look at uh, Tuesday while we're here as well, get some sort of uh, heads up on what's uh, coming for the week. We've got uh, capacity utilization on Tuesday, industrial production, and uh, the mortgage delinquencies, uh, which is also going to be released on uh, Tuesday. And then uh, Wednesday, the big one, we've got the FOMC meeting, crude oil inventories as well, which is another one that's starting to take effect because of the uh, surplus that uh, we have with crude oil at the moment as well. 
So quite a bit uh, to come out uh, from Tuesday, but tomorrow just slightly uh, quiet there. Implied volatility uh, up from the 13, whatever it was on Friday, I can't remember now, uh, not Friday, Thursday, but certainly 15.17 uh, heading in the right direction. Again, you can see now firmly above the uh, yellow line, above the blue line there, heading uh, towards the upside. So this is indicating at the moment that the downside is likely to stay intact. And as with all moves, the market won't continue to always just trade in that one direction. There will be days against the trend. But at the moment, as we just saw in the daily charts, the market having broken that uh, recent uptrend. And now we've got some uh, weakness in the market. And the great thing about uh, sell trades is, of course, that the profits are made quicker. Prices always drop faster than they actually go up. As we say, it's the staircase up, but the elevator down. So that's uh, fine by me. Right, that's it uh, for Monday's edition. I will see you in Tuesday mornings uh, as usual. Other than that, uh, as ever, thank you for your support, also for watching, also for the question about how to actually tackle the situation of where the, uh, the market uh, takes you out before, if it's the only trade, that is, the only trade you've had in the session, taking you out before we go into the quiet time, what you can do, but again, the market could remain quiet. It's just that uh, on Friday, the volatility picked up sharply. If you uh, were watching the market, you will have seen this and uh, therefore uh, gave the opportunity of the market moving back as well. Right, that's it. I will uh, see you in Tuesdays as ever. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.